Good evening, Madam President, uh, members of council. Uh, I'm here tonight per your request. Uh, I've prepared an overview of our capital improvement projects uh, spanning from fiscal year 13 uh, through fiscal year 16. Uh, if you have any questions during the presentation or afterwards, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. So when I arrived here four years ago, uh, this is, these were the first uh, capital projects that were uh, still uh, open and I worked on. There were uh, five projects. Uh, one, the very first one was bathroom stall replacements. Uh, this consisted of replacing the bathroom stalls in five of our elementary schools, uh, Barnstable West, Barnstable High West, Centerville, uh, the community charter and the intermediate school. Uh, we used high density plastic uh, recyclable units, uh, all stainless steel hardware and fasteners and uh, they're really nice units. If you haven't seen them, I have pictures later, but they're cleanable with scotch Bright, hold up very well to the rigors of uh, school classrooms. Uh, that project's completed 100%. Uh, there was a little bit of capital left over there that was repurposed for one of our, one of our other projects. Uh, the tennis court repairs at the high school. Uh, we completed those. We did uh, nine courts. Uh, we did crack seal, coating, painting, uh, did some work with the nets, replaced the hardware, uh, and that's all been uh, completed as well. Uh, they've been used, uh, been used since. Uh, we did electrical upgrades uh, throughout the district. We had $55,000 for that. That consist consisted mostly of bringing a lot of the elementary schools uh, up to code and just getting, you know, 20 amp circuitry. Uh, in classrooms, we have so many computer terminals and running them off of uh, daisy chain power strips and, and old uh, old circuits I wasn't making. We also replaced a lot of uh, the panels in many of the schools as well. So it went quickly, but we did upgrade our, our electrical service in, in the older schools. Uh, interior painting goes without saying. We just did a lot of work where it needed it. We painted the uh, intermediate school lobby. Uh, that needed a fresh coat of paint. We did a lot of painting in hallways and classrooms as needed. And we continue to do that every year with part of our operating. Uh, then uh, at the community charter school, we did some upgrades to the front of the facade of that building. We redid, uh, replaced the entire front facade around the front door with an AZAC uh, uh, assembly. It was totally digitized. It's identical to the original woodwork and it's now a maintenance-free entry. It looks pretty nice, so uh, that was completed with that money and some other work on the front. And I'll talk about further uh, work on that building as we move on. Fiscal year 14, uh, things got a little busier. We had 11 capital projects. Uh, the first one was uh, to remove some underground fuel tanks that were, uh, were not being used anymore. Uh, they were at Centerville and Hyannis West, two 10,000-gallon tanks. There was also a 275-gallon uh, tank in Centerville for uh, the hot water was removed and a 500-gallon diesel tank at High West for the diesel generator that was removed. We also put a 275-gallon diesel tank inside of uh, High West, inside the generator room to still power that generator. That generator is still a good unit. Uh, modular classrooms removal assess uh, assessment, I don't think I have to explain that much deal to anybody in this room. We all know about it. You were very helpful in getting us there. There's still some money left there. Uh, we have $38,561, which we'll be using for asbestos abatement on the BWB units and also uh, to finish removal of those units. So uh, that money will, will be used shortly. Uh, the high school fire intrusion communication upgrades. Uh, we did an awful lot of work on that system. There were uh, a lot of smoke detectors that didn't work. Uh, a lot of work just needed to be done with door closers. Uh, we just went through the entire system with Simplex and, uh, and, and found out where all, the, where all the deficiencies were. We've been repairing those. It's been an ongoing project. Originally, thought we, we thought it would cost a lot more, but we actually did it in two years with $400,000, and we're just about complete now. But everything in that building works now. We have smoke catches that work in uh, the pack and the night and, uh, and a good communication system. So we're, we're pretty happy with that. Uh, network access upgrades. That was the beginning of the campus-wide uh, connection to the uh, to the fiber network that the town put in, and that first phase was just to get all the switch gear and all the schools connected to the to the fiber network, and then uh, subsequent years we've done more work, which I'll talk about in a bit. 
uh, the grade four or five building roof and trim. Uh, that's sponsored by United Elementary. Uh, we put a new roof on that, was was uh, sadly needed. That's all complete. Uh, we just had, hopefully, no more leaks. We had one or two little punch list items with a couple of leaks that uh, the contractor was very responsive on, and uh, that roof's done. So that was uh, 65,000 square feet of, uh, of shingled roofing and some flat roof that was replaced. Uh, we also had some MSBA money for that, and uh, we got in on that project uh, under budget and on time, and it's complete. Uh, hot water circulating pumps. We did those in two schools. Uh, they were what the first ones were West Villages Elementary. Uh, we replaced six pumps uh, and motors with variable speed, variable drive uh, units, and they are the pumps that powered the heating and the cooling in that building. Uh, the bit Marshall Intermediate roof and facade upgrades, hundred thousand dollars there. Uh, we. Uh, use that money to do an existing conditions report on that building. Uh, we had engineering work on that so we could find out where all those deficiencies were. And again, we've had capital subsequent years, and we're, I'll explain to where we are with that building uh, in a little bit. Uh, the high school library air conditioning upgrades, there was $400,000 appropriated. That was, that was repurposed for the emergency work that we did uh, on the cafeteria when we had the uh, deficiencies in the wall there. Uh, it turns out the library air conditioning needs more than $400,000. Once we got in there with some engineers, we found out that, uh, you know, just trying to do a Band-Aid on that wasn't, wasn't the right thing to do. So uh, we'll talk about this year, hopefully, uh, during the capital, capital talks, we'll talk about what we'd like to do at the library to improve that space. Uh, school kitchen equipment. Uh, We've replaced a lot of kitchen equipment. Uh, we've steam kettles, steam ovens, uh, reach-in freezers, walk-in uh, freezers, and uh, we still have a little bit of money left there, $8,000, and that's still active. We're just uh, changing out some final equipment as we need it, trying to determine what it is. And I've been working closely with the food service people on that project. And then grounds maintenance equipment, uh, our, our shop sadly uh, sorely needed some equipment. We didn't have a tractor. We didn't have an aerator. Didn't have a good dump truck. Uh, and uh, a van. We needed some vans. So we went out and we bought some equipment. And, uh, and hopefully everybody will think that those efforts of having that new equipment are showing in the fields. I think we're, fields are starting to look a little better. And we're just spending a lot more time in, you know, being able to maintain them. Uh, fiscal year 15, we had eight projects. Uh, the Early Learning Center classroom project, uh, that's complete now. We have a couple punch list items we're still working on with the contractor, but uh, that, that is complete. Uh, the intermediate school uh, improvements, we went on with that. We did some more existing conditions. We've done all the specs, uh, the bidding specs, all the drawings are done, uh, and we're actually uh, out to bid on that project right now as we speak. Uh, we're going to have file sub bids due on Tuesday of next week, and then the uh, the final bid is due on that, I think on the 22nd of October is when they're due. Uh, the high school fire intrusion com, uh, com upgrades, uh, we have $26,000 left in that budget yet. We're fin finalizing stuff. We're still putting magnets on some door closers. Uh, we found a couple places where we need uh, better notification for uh, horn strobes, uh, and we want to save a little bit for uh, duck smokes when we do the library. Uh, air conditioning so we can tie that into the system but we have we've been working very closely with the Hyannis fire department with the deputy chief on this upgrade and uh, we've made sure that we've included everything in the in these upgrades that, that the chief has wanted and the deputy chief have wanted to have uh, the internet and digital upgrades again that was more work that actually uh, have to look at my notes here they were all wireless access points in uh, the bigger schools, the high school, middle school, uh, and the schools down in Marston Mills. Uh, and they're all completed. Uh, the Barnstable United AC and Chiller Pipe Upgrades, uh, if you were ever in that school uh, on a humid day in August, it was very, very close in there. Turns out all the chiller pipes were never properly insulated. Uh, we went through and we replaced all the insulation on the chiller pipes that were in closed spaces with a uh, type of insulation that's called uh, vapor wick. And it actually keeps the water off the pipes and keeps the pipes from dripping. Uh, this summer we were very successful. Uh, we did a trial area with the, uh, with the product the year before. 
uh, in one of the worst areas of the school, and we were satisfied with the performance. So this year we finished the school, and uh, we finished that under budget. Uh, we have $13,000 left in that account, which we'll uh, give back and repurpose. Uh, the lock upgrades, uh, we had $100,000 there. That money was used primarily for the elementary school, Centerville, uh, and uh, High West and BWB, the older schools, just had a lot, a hodgepodge mismatch of, of lock sets. We just set standardized on what we had for the rest of the district. Uh, we did this in conjunction with the police department and uh, we have a, a, a lock system that's, that's standard throughout the district now and very reliable. Uh, kitchen upgrades there, that was uh, some walk-in cooler work we did at Centerville and some additional equipment. And then the Barnstable United Heat circulating pumps were the uh, big circulating pumps in that school. There are three of them. Uh, we replaced the motors and rebuilt the pumps. And we actually came back in under budget on that and gave some money back on that one as well, but it's closed. And then this last year, uh, we've had seven projects. Let me get to that sheet. Uh, we had the modular construction phase two, uh, which uh, we will have a bid opening on tomorrow. Uh, so uh, hopefully we have plenty of bids and, and uh, be where we need to be. So I got my fingers crossed. Uh, the middle school facade roof improvements, as I had mentioned, uh, this file sub bids will be due on next Tuesday. And then those bids will be due on the 22nd. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's the 20th, or the 20th, I'm sorry. Uh, and then uh, facade roof improvements for the community charter school. That money was appropriated last year. Uh, just started talking with our engineers and with uh, the town architects on that, and uh, we're starting to look at that building to uh, uh, put together specs on what we need to do to that, uh, with that, and also get some accurate costs on what it's going to take to put a roof on that building, uh, fix all the all the pointing, and uh, the facade on that. Uh, we'll be doing some some more hazmat testing on that in a couple of weeks to make sure that we we know where everything is. Uh, the Internet and digital upgrade project, uh, that is the final, the final portion that uh, the tech department is working on now, and that's all wireless access for all the elementary schools, finishing up to the, the, uh, a couple of the elementary schools. Uh, boiler replacement for the high school and the middle school, that money was appropriated last year. That's five boilers, uh, three in the high, five boiler burners, three in the high school and two in the middle school. Uh, we have a vendor for that, the contractor's Wilkinson. Uh, they've ordered all the, all the equipment, the uh, submittals have been approved, and we expect to start on that the week of the 12th, uh, replacing those burners. Same with the uh, West Village's air conditioning upgrades. Uh, we have a contractor selected for that, it's uh, Enterprise Equipment, and that equipment, the equipment is in their yard. Uh, they will be here early next week to isolate uh, the heating system from uh, the chiller and start taking out the old equipment and we'll re do this over the winter but that building will have uh, t fully working air conditioning next year for the uh, cooling season. The cogen plant at the middle school, uh, um, I spoke with Dave Anthony and he's working on that. He expects to be working with the state next week on finalizing the grant uh, on that and then we'll be able to go out for an RFQ uh, for, for some equipment on that. Uh, We've already been talking to several vendors. Uh, there's a lot of nice equipment sets out there. Uh, we're trying to negotiate up right now. Originally, it was intended to be a 60 kilowatt machine for the generator at the middle school. We're trying to see if we get something a little bigger, uh, power a few more circuits on that. So that's where that is at. And then uh, the special projects, again, the uh, high school cafeteria walls, uh, there was a special appropriation for that. And that's moving along nicely. All the structural work has been done. Uh, we'll be putting panels on in the next couple of weeks. Uh, it'll be completed by early December. Uh, we had some, not issues, but we had to go back and forth with the vendor a little bit on the color combinations for the front side. We have a silhouette on there, and I'll show, show you that in a bit, but we wanted to make sure the colors were right, and they had a tough time getting the color palette right. But once we got that approved, uh, we moved ahead. So those, all those panels are coming from Austria, so it's taken a little while to get those here. And then, uh, and then also the, uh, the High West and BWB school improvements, uh, that was design money that was appropriated last year uh, for the design of, of uh, phase two. And uh, 
we've got some available budget there, but we'll be using that up as uh, the architect starts billing for their services now. So just to go through, here's a few photos, uh, just to explain what I was talking about. This is the front of the, the Marshall Community Horse Man uh, Community P Charter School, and that's uh, the surround we did. It's all AZAC, it was digitized. It was really a neat, a really neat uh, project just to see them be able to duplicate, duplicate that exactly the way it was. So uh, it's the way it looked, and it's, it's uh, will contribute to the front of that building for a long time with very little maintenance. Uh, bathroom stalls, nothing real exciting, but these are uh, what we installed throughout the district in five schools. Tennis courts at the high school, you're all familiar with them. They're holding up nicely. Uh, the contractor did a nice job on those, and they get a lot of play, so uh, it was good. There's some of the equipment we bought, uh, John Deere tractor, and there's an aerator on that, uh, a ground, Toro grounds master mower that uh, is very useful, and then that's our courier van. Uh, it's a sample of one of the walk-ins we installed. That's over at Centerville with brand new boxes, brand new mechanicals. The mechanicals are outside, high efficiency, no liquid cooled or anything like that and work very well. Uh, some of the equipment, high school, uh, new steamers, uh, new uh, ovens, new steam ovens. Some pumps, not real exciting, uh, but uh, that's not a West Villages, but we, uh, new pumps, new motors, all the flanges are uh, braided steel, they're not rubber, so that uh, they're very reliable. So uh, same over at uh, Barnstable United, uh, the three pumps we replaced there, put new insulation on them. Again, they're all variable drives, high efficiency motors. Uh, fire panel at the high school, not exciting, but it's a 4100, it's totally addressable, uh, and fire company's very happy. It will actually reports to the uh, to the Cape Cod alarm, when they answer the alarm, it reports exactly where the, the alarm is to them. So that when they call the fire department, they can say it's 1710. So the fire department knows exactly where to go to, in the school. So it's, it's really convenient, saves a lot of time uh, on the call. That's a, not a real good photo, but I just was trying to get an idea how big that roof is at the Barstable United Elementary, but that's from uh, over by West Villages, but there's a lot of shingles there. And uh, we also replaced the shingles on the uh, treatment plant while we were doing it, so. That's the uh, pipe insulation I was talking about. And it's vapor wick, and we did all the enclosed spaces in Barnstable United Elementary with that. The mains and all the, all the lines going to the uh, unit vents, and it's worked very well, so. Hopefully that, that's more comfortable in that school and allow us to do some more work in there. And uh, of course, the, the Early Learning Center classroom project, that's complete, and uh, got a lot of happy people over there these days. Uh, this is the facade that we're, uh, the front of the facade at the high school. This is will be facing the fields, and uh, there are the panels we'll be using with those silhouettes on. So sometime in December, uh, when you drive by, you'll see that, and uh, just a nice, nice touch to the, to the athletic side of the, the campus. And just in summary, uh, Four years, we've done a total of 33 projects. Total budget was $14,981,477. Uh, 15 of those projects are complete. We have $8,089,200 uh, available still, and we've spent about 46% of the appropriated money to, to date. So right up on, on track, about 50% of our projects are done and we started. That's all I have. Do you have any questions for me? Wow, that's ambitious. Quite, quite the projects. Thank you very much, David. Sure. Any questions? Uh, Councilor Steinhilber. Thank you, Dave, for uh, coming in. I uh, really appreciate all the work that you and your team are doing. Um, you and I have talked before about roof leaks, and I know in our previous conversations that before the school year, you do go around and look at all the roofs on the, on the buildings to get them ready for the winter. Uh, was that able to be done again this year? And if so, with the you know, weather possibly coming in the next week, would there be another round of that? Well, uh, we had actually had our, our roofer in, in the community charter school this week doing some other work. And uh, I guess there was, we did have a leak there down by the gym. That's been, that's been taken care of. That was a block drain. But uh, yeah, we're in control of our, our, we have some problems down in West Villages where the solar panel installation was. But that only major leaks we have right now. In pretty good shape. Okay. But it, if there was a major wind event over the next week, I mean, you'd be able to get out and, yeah. and tour the schools. All right, yeah. thanks. Councilor Chiragotis. 
Thank you, Madam President. Um, Dave, if you could just go back and explain about, um, I see you had in 2013 bleacher upgrades, said 67% complete. Can you talk about those? Sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed that one. Yeah, uh, the high school and uh, the Barnstable United and the middle school. The, the, I'll start with Barnstable United. That uh, bleacher set there has what are known as mules. They're drive motors that uh, ex extend and retract those. That set of bleachers had three motors on it. Uh, it was kind of underpowered. So we put four motors on it, new motors, and rebuilt that. Uh, the high school bleachers did not have cutouts for wheelchair accessibility. We put cutouts in and we replaced motors on them. They're all driven too. We got all new controllers for those. Uh, we put new rails on, put cur side curtains on, and just made a lot of safety improvements to those. And in, in the middle school, there were issues with those bleachers, just mechanical issues. Uh, they hadn't been maintained in, in a lot of years, so it was just upgrading and replacing parts. May Sorry. I follow up, Madam President? Um, you're talking about interior bleachers. Any talk about uh, upgrading or improving exterior? I'm, I'm thinking particularly the, the high school football field, the bleachers are in They're on the road less now. than perfect condition. Yeah. They are on our five-year plan, and we'll talk about those this year, I hope. Okay. Councilor Dagwon. Uh, yes, I just wanted to uh, ask a question. You, you, in your FY15 capital projects, uh, it says that you're still active in um, replacing um, Barnstable Public School lock, locks upgrade. That's correct. What, yeah, what schools are we still working on? Uh, well, that's we, need to put, we need to do the upgrades there. at the community charter school, uh, but we need doors there as well. So we need to replace some doors. Uh, so it's, it's a bigger part. So I've been kind of holding off on it just to uh, try and get an idea how much money I need for doors. I just haven't had an opportunity to get that, nail that down yet. I mean, the locks all work. So it, it's not that we, we have malfunctioning hardware. We're just trying to standardize. It's secure, but you're just replacing. Yeah, and just better. trying to have everything, everything the same. It, it's really important when you have as many buildings and doors as we have to try and standardize. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Vice President Kennedy. Um, Thank you for asking that question because it really was my question because I noticed that you spent uh, $200,000 in 2014, I guess, 2013, and then are still actively spending $200,000 in 2014. So they were, the, what it is is that you're going through all the schools. Yes. So, okay, um, that was my question. But I also want to comment. Um, on how appreciative I am personally for all your advocacy and your work on the, the High West and the BWB modular uh, construction. Big deal. Um, much, very over, many years overdue. And so I appreciate that uh, under your watch, it's getting done. So thank, thank you very it's, much. It's my pleasure. I just had a question about the uh, parking lot of the high school. Is there any plan to uh, resurface that or work on that? Uh, yeah, we, we actually have that in the five-year plan, too, and it's kind of out there. We uh, this year did some crack sealing at the middle school. I wanted to try and do it at the high school, too. I just didn't have enough budget, but next year we'll do some crack sealing and more work there. But at some point, we need to think about paving those, definitely. Okay. So any other questions? Uh, Councilor Jim Crocker. Thank you for the presentation tonight, and thank you for the honesty in the responses. Uh, what I don't think everybody can really appreciate is the thought that goes into it. In the old days, whenever we had an appropriation uh, approved, we went out and burnt the money, regardless of if the doors were bad that we were putting the locks on, that we were later going to take the locks off and put them on a new set of doors. So your organizational skills are far and above anything I've seen in recent time on our facilities at the school. So for that, I'm very grateful. Um, certainly the timeline shows us where you picked up the pace and, and made an, a commitment to improving the facilities. Uh, again, it's uh, paramount to some of our roads where if we leave them too long, we have to rip them right down to the base and start over. The same is true with all of your internal goods, especially HVAC systems, electronics, and so forth. So again, I applaud the methodology. Um, you did have uh, some HVAC work uh, with insulation and improving the performance of the HVAC. Was any of that able to be assisted by grants from uh, any of the big utilities? No. Yeah. No. That's what I was they weren't big enough. Yeah. No, so. the, the, the BTU savings didn't meet yeah. the categories. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, hats off again for the um, 
modular program, certainly a fabulous product uh, for round one, and I hope uh, money comes in for you again this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think Vice President, um, Vice President Kennedy has. Sorry, uh, Councillor Wallace reminded me um, of, of our conversation earlier uh, about the BWB playground. Could you comment on, uh, on that and where that is? Well, well, right now, I mean, we just, we, we've kind of closed areas of the playground because we found some, area, some problems and some safety issues. I've been talking with the PTA, I've been talking with the administration over there and other folks. Uh, we'd like to get out there and, and, and look at uh, a new playground and some new equipment. Also working with those folks on, on the swings uh, to replace those. It's just all that equipment just it's, it's outlives its usefulness. And you know, I, what we've been doing is we've we spent about a million dollars on playgrounds in this district since I came here. I feel like the playground guy. We've done, they weren't capital, but I've done five playgrounds since I've arrived here. And uh, you know, we, we've, we've invested a lot of money. So uh, you know, it just, we, we will take care of these new ones. I've, I've contracted with somebody to do preventive maintenance on our, on our new playgrounds because we can't let that happen again to the, to the new ones. But the older ones, we just have to, to look at them and, and, and you know, replace them. So I, right at this point, we've just begun the dialogue and uh, hopefully get some momentum, get some funding and, and replace these, these other playgrounds. Um, as a follow-up, uh, I think the superintendent suggested that you will be discussing that at the uh, next school committee meeting, October 9th would be part of the agenda. I'll let the superintendent talk to that. Uh, thank, thank you, yes. Uh, I, I will include in my superintendent's report at the next school committee meeting an, up, an update on the BWB playground situation. Uh, and uh, as I explained in my email to uh, the committee uh, within the PTA that's been formed uh, to work on the playground replacement. Uh, the school committee's practice over the last five uh, playground installations has been to provide appropriated funding uh, to partially pay for the cost. Uh, the school committee endeavors to do that in an equitable fashion, taking into consideration each school's, each school community's fundraising capacity. Uh, and I assume the committee will do the same thing uh, in this case. Uh, in addition, we can, uh, we can explore other funding opportunities, uh, local foundations, uh, Community Preservation Act funding, which I think is now available for recreational purposes. Uh, so I think we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put it high on our list of priorities and uh, we know how important it is to the community. Great, and uh, Councillor Wallace and I will help you in any way. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Councilor James Crocker. I'm sorry if I could speak to David one more time about my favorite roof project. I, I had made a note and I skipped over sure. the middle school. Um, what, what's happening with the middle school? I, I know you're uh, oh, well, we pulled open, back a little bit here. Yeah, we're, we yeah we, uh, the middle school is we, we will open file sub bids next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a week and a half ago we had the uh, site visit. We had a good show with contractors. Uh, and so we'll do the, the, the sub bids next week, the 20th. We'll open the, the bids. And we're going to get rolling as soon as we can on that. Uh, are, we, you know. are we ripping it back to concrete and we're starting over? Is that we're going we're gonna to take all the windows out yes. and flash them. Yeah, finally. Uh, we need to go up on the roof. Mm -hmm. And we need to go up where the, where the uh, PVC ties. Yes. And we have to do that properly and flash that. Uh, we've got some wet areas up there that the roofing has to uh, come up, and the insulation's uh, holding it nice and moldy yep. for you. And uh, and uh, and we have a lot of a lot of the the EFIS is just bad. Yeah, even the EFIS flashing. So we're going to take that off. We're going to put we're going to put a, another surface on. We're hopefully we've got some some adults for uh, for not waterproofing it, but uh, cleaning it. You know, to, to seal it so that it'll stay clean. Uh, we've also included a more a more durable finish that. I won't be able to throw a lacrosse ball through and the birds won't be able to get through. We're getting rid of some of those architectural features, those bands that mm. go around, they're going to come off. Uh, we're doing a lot. That's why yeah. it's taken so long. Yes. Uh, we're going to do mock-ups of the windows so that the contractor, but you're you, you know how. Yes, yes. You know, but you're convinced we'll beat the season here with the schedule you have in front of you. Well, we're going to work through the winter. We're not going to, we're going to, it's going to take a year and a half. Yes. That's why we went to one phase and, and we were originally going to do it over two years. And, uh, that it would be best probably just do it all in one phase. So it's going to be year-round. We work closely with the principal. He's going to be able to 
move students out of two classrooms at a time. So we'll do those windows and they'll just keep going around the school and okay. we'll do whatever we can as we can. And there's a performance clause for whoever's supposed to be um, the no procuring? No performance clause. No? No. We don't. We really don't know what's under there except for a big mess. Here, yeah. So I yeah, guess I yeah, get that. Yeah. We've done a lot of exploration. That's that's what we've been doing the last two years. We've done a lot of existing conditions. So we have an idea. We've taken windows out. Mm -hmm. We've cut walls open. We've in, we did in, we infrared, you know, the infrared of the whole roof. So we know where all the wet spots are. We know where it's coming from. Okay. It's where we suspected, but we verified it. So we won't be guessing. So. Very good. I wish you well on that. That's yeah, thanks. That's been something uh, since the day we built it. I mean, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be. Uh, and once we open it up, you know, we might find some more stuff. I do have one more uh, request to. Um, you're in front of me now. Um, the Katuit Elementary School now being used up by Waldorf, yep. um, and that uh, that those facilities are very dated as well. So I hope you take that into consideration when you look at the playgrounds uh, and what needs to be uh, upgraded. Yeah. And I know that's not a public school right now, but it is turned over to the public after three o'clock, the fields and the playground. So just to keep that in mind. Yeah. And, and we've had conversations about that as well. We have included that, so, so that, that we know all about it. Thank you very much, okay. Steve. Appreciate it.